Hey there everybody and welcome to a brand new LP. As you can tell from the title screen we will be playing Silent Hill 3 this time. The Silent Hill 3 is actually a closer uh, sequel to Silent Hill 1 and we'll be playing in a brand new protagonist but we'll be seeing that soon enough. For right now we are going to be playing on normal action and normal riddle but I will be showing off the hard puzzles in the thread. And immediately we are greeted with a number of similar parallels to other Silent Hill games such as the nightmarish grating and general bleakness of the surrounding area. Seems that we are already starting off in what is considered the other world. And from the large sign that we saw in the background there we're at the Lakeside Amusement Park, the premier amusement center in Silent Hill. But I really don't feel like amusement right now, I'd rather just get out of here. Obviously another returning staple of Silent Hill games is the fact that 80% of the doors in the game, well, they're not really going to be accessible, so I guess we are going to have to find some other means of getting out of the park. But, as you can also tell, well, what's this in the cage over here? I can see something moving, but it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, we will be assaulted by grotesque imagery throughout the course of the game, and that particular mascot is actually called Robbie the Rabbit. He is one of four mascots for the Lakeside Amusement Park. Apparently, though, he is the most popular, even though uh, I guess that popularity can be dangerous. And much like Harry Mason or James Sunderland, our main character here, uh, Hepson actually does not really deal with the surrounding terror so well. She'll uh, pretty much not want to stare at horrific things for too long. But maybe this huge uh, map will be of some assistance to us. That is a good question, Heather. I'm sure the big sign saying amusement park would not allude to this being an amusement park, but yes, well, it seems we're going to have to head towards a roller coaster, but I think we, before we head to Souvenir Avenue, we should actually get rid of this knife because it's not really uh, the best weapon. And rather oddly, from other Silent Hill games where they start you without any kind of equipment. This one actually starts you out with quite a few items, 
You can actually see we actually have some guns here, but we'll talk about guns later on. You can see the knife, uh, kind of just used for self-defense, but we need something a little bit longer. So we'll switch the pipe. You can also see we have a few healing items, just in case. But we shouldn't be needing those, should we? Now we actually have a few different types of attacks to do with the pipe. We have an overhead swing, we have a poke, and we actually have a back and forth swing, like a little bit quicker than the overhead, but uh, I think we're ready to go. And already we are greeted with some high intensity Silent Hill combat. This is a double head, kind of a spiritual successor to Silent Hill 1's, I think they were called Groaners. Yeah, the uh, double head can be rather quick and they usually attack in packs, but they can actually be fairly easily taken out, as we just saw and as we'll see in the future. And that background static is another returning theme from the Silent Hill series. Basically tells us that an enemy is nearby. And actually in this one there are unique Whoa. Yeah, th there are unique static sound effects for uh, each type of enemy. But we'll get to that enemy in just a second. This is actually the only place on Souvenir Avenue we can get into for right now. Plenty of Robbie the Rabbit uh, souvenirs to get if you so wanted. Yeah, normalcy is not something we're really going to be getting too much of in this particular game. Yeah, in all reality, there's actually not much to do in this souvenir shop unless you want some very artifacted uh, shirts or some grotesquely disfigured uh, stuffed animals. Yeah, really all we can do right now is just try to find our way to that coaster, as mentioned before. First though, we do have to deal with another... This is actually a returning enemy from Silent Hill 2. In this game, they are called Closers. But in Silent Hill 2, we actually only ever saw them when they were hanging off grating and they would stab us from underneath. But as you can tell, they are fairly slow moving and, well, they, they attack fairly slowly as well. But they can be fairly damaging if you let them. But closers de definitely never really are that much of a hassle to deal with. So this must be the way to go. But thankfully, as uh, most Silent Hill games will let you, you actually don't have to fight everything. And in this particular case, it's really best just to run. Because there's actually another new enemy. Yep, there he is. That's a pendulum. They are flying enemies and they are a massive pain in the ass. Especially if you try to hit them with melee. Normally it's best just to run away from them. And they are especially dangerous because they will follow you everywhere.
looks like we have a very limited way to go here, so I guess we're going to have to try our best not to fall off the edges here, because there is the danger of falling in Silent Hill 3, especially if you're playing on the hard difficulty, there is a very good chance you will fall to your death. Nightmare. Call sooner. Yeah, I guess I was. Anyway, I'm coming home now. Oh, I didn't get that thing you asked me to. Okay. <laughs> okay, I will. I love you too, Dad. Heather, I need to speak with you. My name is Douglas Cartland. I'm a detective. A detective? Really? Well, nice talking to you. Hold on. There's someone that wants to meet you. Just let me have an hour. No half an hour of your time. My daddy always told me not to talk to strangers. This is very important. It's about your birth. I'm not interested. Are you still following me? Do I have to scream? Sorry. I'll wait here. So, after dying in a dream and waking up to be followed by a detective, I think that's a pretty good stopping point for today, especially since we have reached what is our save points for the game. Yeah, these, I think this is the Mark of Samuel, or maybe Metatron, it's hard for me to say, the uh, Silent Hill mythos can be kind of convoluted. But I think uh, for right now, I'll call that the end of the first update, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.